now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there, and a Buccaneer first down. Now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A first carry for Rashad White. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. Nothing, nothing, our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Brady going to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. DeAndre Carter back deep. This is taken at about the 14. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. On first down, it's Herbert. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. The final shot before the break for Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So we've come upon halftime. One of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game but it falls down to the ground incomplete. On second and 10, Herbert. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chargers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. That throw by Brady incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Now Brady got to have this one. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who have had the receivers on lockdown. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On third down, here's Eckler. Oh, no, he lost the football. <laughs> Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Uh, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, some field goals are bigger than others, and that one makes this a two-score game. And with the way their defense has played all game long, that's kind of a love letter to them because that might very well be all the points they need. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there. And that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And the Bolts have done it. 